So this is our computer system um, designed by Tailored Controls for our company. Um, we've added a few upgrades. So I'm just gonna run you through the functions of the unit. So it's quite simple. Um, we have uh, manual buttons here that move the machine left and right manually, up and down, like that. So the normal function is you've got vertical and horizontal movements, right? So uh, switch it to vertical. Um, you can change direction here. So we go, hold that down, it clears our, our uh, sizing there. So you can uh, adjust your size on screen. Clear, 50, enter. And it's saying to move up at the moment. So normally we move down, so we change direction. And uh, you can press enter here, which won't calculate the curve, or curve enter here, which will calculate the curve. So that'll go down to 50 millimeters, um, including the curve. And if you wanna do it again, you press again, and it'll just recreate that same scenario. If you wanna go the opposite direction, you switch up, curve enter, it'll go up now, exactly as it did before, the opposite direction. And we go again. All right, so that's vertical movement. And then we switch it to horizontal. It's keyed in 300 now. You've got this little uh, increment adjuster, so, I mean, you can use this if you wanted to. So 50 millimeters, it says it's moving to the right at the moment, which is the normal uh, direction we move. And we press curve enter, it'll move to the right. It actually slows down right at the end to get you a real accurate uh, uh, increment. So if we hold that down, it'll clear our top position. This is how you check what, what you've moved. And we, if we just press uh, no curve enter, it'll tell you exactly where you ended up. 50 millimeters, so we're to the millimeter, like to the 0.1 of a millimeter. Um, okay, so these are the new functions. Uh, actually, we'll cover that off a little bit more. So these are your major adjustments. They're inch equivalent movements, up or down. And this is your millimeters. So if you want, you know, fine adjustment, 78 millimeters, um, curve enter, there you go. So we've added a couple of features here. Uh, we've added this extra enter button and this one here. So this is for sectional cutting. And in reality, most of our mills are used using that method, um, you know, with your manual crank. So, so this really uh, offers, syncs up with our automated system much better. Um, so how it works, so if we wanna get a horizontal, let's say we're doing a eight inch board. So we can go uh, clear, right there. As your position's clear. And uh, we can go all the way up, or we could just go here and go 200. That's an eight inch um, equivalent and it's moving to the right. So if you press horizontal incremental enter once, it'll move over to the first cut. So you'll fly through this way. At the end, you press it again. You'll fly backwards this way. And then, one more time, it'll move over to your final 200 millimeter increment, which is fantastic because it's a more efficient use of horsepower and your timber comes out much more accurate. That first uh, cut forces the second cut true, and the third cut consequently. Right, so now you're, you're doing a bunch of uh, inch boards horizontally, and you're doing, let's say you're doing 12 inch deep vertical cuts. So uh, if we flick it to vertical, and we go up to, let's just actually, let's just go to 300 here. 300 millimeters, which is a 12 inch equivalent, and uh, we want to change direction there. Yeah, so Okay, so we're back to horizontal cuts. So you're doing a deck of 12 by one boards all the way across. So what you do here is uh, you go clear and you're going horizontal, say 25 millimeters. So you're doing an inch wide, 12 inch deep, right? So 25, so we just go, boop, moves over 25 millimeters. So you fly through that 25 millimeter cut, you swing up automatically at the other end now it's remembered what you what the value was in vertical. So that's your 12 inch movement. So it's remembered that. So when you're in the horizontal, you press the vertical increment enter. And what that'll do is that'll go all the way up to your first section cut. 
It's a big board, so it's going to go right up to the first sectional cut. And you'll notice there a little green button. So you press that vertical increment again, and it'll go down to your second incremental cut. And once more, it'll go down to where you left off. So it breaks down that deep 12 inch cut into three efficient vertical cuts. So uh, you've got lots of other options, like if you go to your configuration here, you can uh, change your auto settings, you know, if you want to go a little bit faster or slower, um, you, can, you can affect your, uh, your gains, so like, if you can be so accurate with this thing, you know, you, you can be to the millimeter, um, so you can change all that. Um, you've also got your, your sectional cuts, we find that um, the forward cut uh, is optimum around, like for instance, if you're doing a 12 inch horizontal cut, it's best to fly through with a four inch horizontal cut and then a three inch return cut and a four inch final cut. So that's, that's your relationship uh, right there. So we'll move that back, go back to configurations, uh, curve settings, you can adjust your curve settings. So if you're using a, you know, a slightly narrower curve, you can change that. Uh, actually go to clear, 6.5, back, just like my iPhone, enter. Um, so that now we're running at 6.5 millimeter curve. So the good news is we've just decided that we're going to offer this computer system on our standard automated range as well. So those of you that have already a, uh, an automated um, a turbo sawmill, we can upgrade this unit here with uh, these two motors to, um, to, to effectively automate it. So you can buy that as a kit now. It is single phase, so if you're, uh, if you're using this remotely, you'll need like a 2.8 kilowatt uh, small, um, sort of like a, a camping generator. They're very quiet, and that'll provide your coffees, you know, your, your, uh, your blower to clean up the sawdust, your little electric chainsaw for docking, so a small generator makes sense when you're running remote. However, if you're fixed in a, in a, in a workshop scenario, that'll plug straight into your domestic supply power. So that's our computer system.